Hey, Snickers, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. You're in my house, so behave, babies. Okay, this video is why do I use Ubuntu, or specifically, why I use XFCE. Right, going back in the day, when I first went Linux full time, it was old school Ubuntu. So we're going back a little, a very long time ago, okay, a very long time ago. Before GNOME, before Unity, it was old school. It was really old school, and it was all right, but that's what I grew up on. And plus, I was using Puppy Linux at the same time, so that was a big, not a big deal for me. It was, I don't mind JWM, I, you know, it was fine, I don't mind it at all. But when you continue to use the same format as what I'm doing now, which is XFCE, you get used to it, and you get used to the way it works, I know how it works, how I can theme it, whatever I want to do. I mean, in theory, you wouldn't know this was XFCE if you was a new user. You'd say, what the hell is that? But you just theme it how you work. To be honest, I'm not really interested in uh, too many aesthetics, really. I just need to do stuff, to be honest. I just don't I don't want stuff all over the place. Yes, I've got all these editions over here, but because I do a lot of stuff for printing and projects and videos, they're just handy to have on a desktop for me. Maybe not for you, but they are for me, okay? And these are the main apps I use. So, you know, so if I go down the first batch, Firefox. I still use Firefox. I like Firefox. Firefox is a lot better than some other stuff, okay? But not for everything. Thunderbird, I like my offline mail client. I like it, you know? I don't want to go online for everything. Everything comes to my offline client. Google Chrome, yes, we have to have it now for a lot of stuff. But actually, I don't particularly mind it. It's all right. It does the job. Audacity, I use all the time. Clementine is one of my main music players. I do quite like quite a cue, a lot better, but it's sometimes unstable. But a lot of my music is in here. I've got... Uh, whoa, a lot of music in this computer. I think we've got about coming up to a hundred gig of music just in this one. And there's stuff I've not even ripped yet, if you know what I mean. Okay. So I can use anything I want. So yeah. Don't kill me my styles, baby. Don't kill me. This is just one big one I play sometimes in the car. But like if I just want to play one album, there's Jay Huss, don't play it too much, not no more, because he was a naughty boy. There's a little one there that I just picked up one night and I need to do that one and I can just pick the playlist I want. Basically, the Young Pony Club. Some of you may not even know who they are. Okay, they're not. Yeah, I suppose they're obscure now. The older you get, okay, as I'm going to say, time goes forward but goes slowly and fast at the same time. So I was looking at a video the other day. And I didn't realise it was 11 years old. You know, that's how it goes. Isn't it? I'm rambling anyway. Open shot, yes, I still use it very, very occasionally. Not so much now because it's hmm. and this you've got a machine like mine or anybody else with an eight core machine, it can just blah go blah 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 blah. OBS we all use, Caden and I ever use, Steam to play my games of course, terminal, simple screen recorder, I'm using it now to do stuff with you. I've got the NVIDIA X stuff in on here actually I don't really need that on the screen, do I really? I could get rid of that one, that wouldn't be a problem. I do still use Spotify, although I do like buying music, which is why I'm so pleased when HMV weren't going to go down the pan, because that's one of my favourite Saturday days out, going to HMV. For my printing, I've got Simplify 3D, an idea maker. I've also got Cura, but that's in a different folder. So I've got all my stuff I need. Blender for 3D modelling. All the stuff I need is here. I know where it is, and that's where I want it to be. Okay. I can distro hop all the time. But at the end of the day, I always settle back to this. Yes, when it went bang a couple of years ago, do you remember I went to Linux Lite for about a year, I think it was. Nine months to a year. And I had a really good time with Linux Lite. Nothing wrong whatsoever. The only reason I went back to Zubuntu was for the simple reason. Uh, I like it, you know. It's like if you buy a car and nobody else likes it, but you like it. Do you know what I mean? Okay. I mean, everything works for me. This is the whole thing I wanted to talk about. Just that. Nothing at all. So I'm going to have my Steam stuff here. Like, I'm going to have my library. All my stuff's here that I want to play, you know. Oh, new video for you. Plane Mechanic Simulator. I'll do that tomorrow. Very, very buggy. It's in early release, okay? Early access. It plays okay. Don't get me wrong. 
but it don't want to let go. But yeah, that's another story. Anyway, that is why I use XFCE Stroke Ubuntu. Okay, this is 1804. I'll probably stick with it until we go to the next one. Do we belong to you? It just does everything I need it to do. That's why I call it my workhorse. Okay, it's my workhorse. I do my work on it. The rest of the stuff I do is for play. But this is for the main stuff I do. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.